this is Axe. I bought a 2018 Aprilia RSV4RR. It's got a 1000cc V4 engine. Uh, I think 201 horsepower is the rating on it, and I'm ready to go to the mountains. So got it in a trailer, heading to Colorado. We did have a blowout on the way, but other than that, got there fine. And so just heading into the kind of Estes Park Road 34 up the highway, you've got those S curves coming in that are fun. And the bike leans really nice and easy. Uh, you don't have to grunt it at all. It wants to go where you point it. You gotta watch the wildlife. Of course, you've got the bighorn sheep. I've never really seen one of those in the road, but they do hang out on the shoulder a lot, so you gotta watch them. Cruised on up through Estes Park, got into Rocky Mountain National Park, and saw a few turkeys on the road. And then, of course, those deer that you gotta watch for, whether in Iowa or Colorado or Texas or wherever. Seem to be one of the dumbest animals. Up here to the point of being two miles above sea level. There's definitely no oxygen, I noticed, as I pulled over and walked around a little bit. Wanted to kind of just take in some of the scenery, get a few pictures. Nice area up here. Didn't see the normal elk uh, that usually hang out on the side of this mountain, but still nice scenery. I wanted to get some pictures of the bike. It really is, the, the looks and styling of it are gorgeous. Um, the red accents on the black background of the plastics really pop on this one, and I'm not usually a fan of colored wheels. Um, heading back down, sometimes on bikes coming down a mountain like this, you'll see some brake fade, but the Brembo system on this, you know, calipers, rotors, and even the, um, the master cylinder, all held real well, didn't notice any fade. So it helps kind of uh, give you that confidence as you're coming down these curves and ramp it around. Unfortunately, I had a little bit too much confidence the next day in the Buckhorn area, coming around some curves and uh, a little bit of loose gravel made me nervous. I stood the bike up and went off the road, but fortunately didn't drop the bike. So anytime you can have something like that go wrong and no damage to you or the machine, it's a win. Next morning was the last day, Sunday morning, no traffic, so headed up uh, Cooter Canyon and kind of going through the tunnel here. Very important to keep between the lines, especially going through a tunnel. Got up to the top, or you know, a good stop point. Headed back down, dodged a bag on the way, and really let it all hang out for this, uh, this ride back down because it was kind of the final stretch. Um, bike road just great, pulls hard, good power, handles well, brakes well, sounds awesome. Uh, that V4 really sounds great through the Acura system. And it's surprisingly comfortable for being kind of a race-oriented bike. I really didn't expect much in comfort on the seat, but it really did a great job with that saddle. Um, very surprised and impressed with that. So just a blast of a ride down, just let it grip. And uh, kind of got to watch the sun coming out from behind the mountains and trees, or it'll blind you in some of the corners. So you got to be careful of that. But with this bike and those roads, um, can't ask for much more than that. The suspension I haven't messed with, so it was a little stiff for streets, probably. Um, a little bit of chatter to it, but that's an easy adjustment. I just hadn't messed with it yet. Uh, just trying to get used to the bike and get it out there before um, the snow started flying. And at the end of it, actually averaged a pretty high speed through that stretch um, for what it was. So good ride, and of course you got all the electronics, gadgetry, safety stuff, and controls and everything you could ask for on a bike like this. So that kind of wrapped it up, headed back into town into the sunrise, hit the big sweepers get it back and trailer it up and head back to Texas. So all in all, the only real uh, damage done to me or the bike was I did take a bird to the shoulder at pretty high speeds the first day. So I got a nice little welt in my shoulder from that. Unfortunately, getting back to Texas was a little bit worse. The bike ended up totaled. Uh, I got my first seven point buck of the season, little fucker. So scratched up helmet, smash gloves but i walked away with just a bruised ass so that's not too bad plus now i can upgrade subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to learn more about how to enjoy amazing machines like this